East. And a new study into oncology suggests exercise improves the quality of life, decreases pain, and helps in cutting costs for cancer patients. The research was published in Integrative Cancer Therapies and helps medical organizations adopt therapy for cancer patients, moving away from the death sentence that might be imposed when being diagnosed with cancer. Joining us now with the details on that study from Cedarville University, Dr. Karen Wonders, founder and director of Maple Tree Cancer Alliance. And she conducted this study. We want to thank you for being with us here tonight. Sure, thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's start with the fact that when someone receives a cancer diagnosis, number one, it can be very scary, but also they're thinking about treatment, and a lot of times they're thinking about the illness and how their body might become weak. So exercise might not be something that's even top of mind. Right. In fact, most of the patients that we work with, in fact, 85% of the time, they were completely sedentary before their cancer diagnosis. So you're right. When someone's not feeling well and they are just dealing with a new cancer diagnosis, it is something that is not on the forefront of their mind exercise. Now, is the exercise that you are now suggesting and seeing improvements with these people, does this have to do with maintaining how they are right now? Or is there anything that might affect their prognosis as well? You know, there is a lot of research that looks at exercise during cancer recovery that shows that exercise can help improve the quality of life and the symptom severity as they're going through treatment. But then also for certain types of cancers, if the individual continues to exercise into remission, then they're more likely to stay in remission. That's been observed in um, certain types of breast cancers and colon cancers and prostate and a bunch of, um, a bunch of the hormone-driven type cancers. We see that protective effect. So it talks, sounds like it's really just about maintaining an overall healthier lifestyle and after, but it also, a lot of these people take a huge financial hit. Yes. Yes. In fact, medical bills are the number one cause of personal bankruptcy, so it is very expensive. And uh, can you also talk a little bit about the research? What, at the core of this new research when it comes to exercise, what was more of the, the surprising findings here? Well, you know, with Maple Tree, we've been providing exercise training for individuals as they go through cancer treatment. We've been in business now for seven years, and we don't charge any of the patients for our services. Everything is provided to them for free because we get donations and grants from hospitals. And so we wanted to try to advocate for insurance coverage for um, our services. And so um, going back about 18 months ago, we conducted a study looking at our patients population compared to individuals who stayed sedentary during their cancer treatment and we just looked at the medical bills and specifically we looked at ER visits and 30-day readmits and length of hospital stays and what we found was that the individuals who exercised during their cancer treatment had significantly lower ER visits, 30-day readmits, and length of hospital stays compared to their sedentary counterparts. The findings were, were significant, and then we had a third-party research group come in and validate those findings, um, which was very exciting for us because we feel like that is something that's really going to propel us to insurance companies to hopefully advocate for expanded coverage for our services. All right, some very important information for people out there who might be battling cancer. Dr. Karen Wonders, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, there's more five on two. Here.